I'm going to talk about the man that made it possible for you to have a communicator in your pocket. Okay, so maybe my phone was a bad example. Henry Thomas Sampson, Jr. was an American man who became the first African American man to receive a degree in nuclear physics in America. Actually, that's first African American man to receive a PhD in nuclear engineering. Stupid past me editing this. He was also the quote-unquote inventor of the cell phone. Now I'm not here to talk about the racial implications of this. I have been plenty problematic and ignorant in my past and I am no shape or way or form qualified to discuss such matters. But I do want to give a man his due in history. One thing we can't ignore is his contribution to the creation of the cell phone. Except we kind of have ignored it. Today I'm talking about radiation. I probably shouldn't have used a tape that abrasive on my door. Uh. Doctor. Samson was born in 1934. That's how little we actually know about him. We don't know the exact date he was born. All we know is he was born in 1934 in Jackson, Mississippi. He got a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering before then getting a master's degree in engineering, before then getting a master's degree in nuclear engineering, before then finally getting his PhD in nuclear engineering. Oh, and all of this was by the time he was either 27 or 26. He joined the Navy in 1962 where he helped develop high energy solid repellents as well as case bonding material for rocket motors. Sure, let's act like I knew what that meant as I said it. Essentially it means he helped to develop a way that rockets would not explode as soon as they were launched. Let me get one misconception out of the way. Martin Cooper is the literal inventor of the cell phone. However, what Dr. Sampson did made it possible for the cell phone to be invented. What Dr. Sampson invented was called the gamma electrical cell, which allowed radio waves to be transmitted and received as audio signals. Now what do you use a cell phone for? Okay, what did you used to use a cell phone for? Without his 1971 discovery, Martin Cooper would have never been able to invent the cell phone in 1972. Technically 1973. In fact, some people say it was April 3rd, 1973. For all purposes, Dr. Sampson invented the technology of the cell phone. Without Dr. Sampson, there would be no cell phone, no iPhone, no Android, no TikTok stealing your data. Okay, but what Dr. Sampson did changed society as a whole forever. Without his contribution, without his invention, society as a whole would be completely different. He changed the future. He invented the future. People in America call them cell phones. People in the UK call them mobiles. People in Germany call them handies. I'm calling Maya Samson from now on. I think that's what old people already call Samsungs. In addition to engineering, Dr. Samson was also a film historian. He was big into conserving film and making sure that future generations could hold on to the movies of the past. So the next time you look at your phone, pay tribute to the man who made it possible.